going everybody this is Jay Baker vlogs here and welcome to San Antonio missions baseball part number three well guys our team is on the plane headed to the Midland International Airport where we are getting ready to face the Midland Rockhounds <clears throat> And most likely, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. And most likely, we hope y'all enjoy today's stream. Well, our first game with this ball club with Rockhounds. So enjoy. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight it's the first of four between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Max Stone will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. Jonathan Baker. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to third. Valdez takes it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. Digging in, J.J. Harrell. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. Now with the plate, Jonathan Baker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Baker. He's set and the pitch. Mine to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, d -Row, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's four to two. Hey, even though we're in the middle of this one here, D-Roll, that's a big base hit and two RBIs to boot. Yeah, you never know when it's going to come, Dan. But when you see runners in scoring position, you're up to the plate, your eyes light up, and you have to come through for the team. Great at bat right there. Ready to take his hacks again, Luis Torrens, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. <laughs> 0-2, oh here it is. Bouncer down the line. He's got it. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Digging in for his second at-bat, Ramon Diaz. Baker, the runner at third. Falvey on at second with two down. Slow grounder to first. Prater is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. To the bottom of inning number four, we go. Ready once again, Jonathan Baker. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Wind up and the 0-1. Little flare out to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. 
boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game, but that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. <laughs> Ready now, Luis Torrens. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in once again, Ramon Diaz. Baker over at second. Falvey on at first with two down. This one's down to third. Reined in. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Standing in, Jonathan Baker. Jonathan Baker. First pitch coming, here it is. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. Comes set, and the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Priest on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. Takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys in the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. 5-2 the final score tonight. San Antonio took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Young takes the win on the mound his second of the year. Scott Hackman earns the save out of the bullpen his 12th of the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. on top. Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double A Texas League. Tonight, the second of four between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Clinton Walker is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D-Row, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And guys, when I've been looking at the numbers on this starting pitcher, what really jumps out on me 
is the fact that he doesn't strike a ton of guys out, which means he's got to execute. He's got to use those 17 inches in, out, up, and down. He's going to have his defense behind him, and they better be on their toes because a lot of balls are going to be put in play in this one. Zapata on third, Dickerson at second, Baker at first, one gone. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop-up, and nothing productive comes out of that. Stepping into the box, Luis Torrens. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Now to the plate, Jonathan Baker. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Hey, now. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Leading off the inning, Jonathan Baker, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by... Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run for him on the season. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Some... Settling in now, Jonathan oh, Baker. Jonathan First pitch Baker. on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard-hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. At the plate, Christian Villanueva. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Ready with the 0-1. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. Nice hit. Boy. That pitcher's got to be shaking his head right now. You got to tip your cap right there. I'm still always impressed when offensive players are able to come out of the zone and still be able to make hard contact. How about it? Digging in, George Aponte. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pulled toward right center field. Smolinski's under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Stepping into the box. Luis Torrens. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on two hits. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. 7-5 tonight's final. Midland posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Ronald Diaz gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Thomas Smith wraps it up for the save, his sixth. So that's a
After a brief trial move, this prospect is being returned to his original role. <clears throat> We're going to look to get you back in your primary position, Jonathan. Your versatility is a plus. Then we will call on it when necessary. Very it's happy to be switching news. back, sir. Sounds like you know where you want to play, do you? Want to talk to a coach about how to streamline your development in that direction? Yeah, I could use some guidance. Coach is sent to offer guidance on training for a specific position. Jonathan, the more a player skills set is different for a given position, the higher they be valued in that role. Which position do you talk about? A pitcher. Starter or closer? Starter. A starter needs to have several effective pitches and the stamina to use them effectively for at least five or six innings. Okay, thanks. I am the starter of the Medlin Rockhound baseball series, guys. I got 25 RBIs and four home runs throughout this 2018 season with the San Antonio Missions. We're about to be on top, so that's pretty good. Game three. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. <coughs> it's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Daniel Gossett, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy has really struggled coming into this game, right? The league is hitting just under 300 against this guy, and that's something he really needs to improve on. And it'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. The 0-1 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Backhanded. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better. Coming to the plate now, Jason Nunez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. It's a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. So striding in, Jonathan Baker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he will run this one down, moving to his left. And next will be the cleanup hitter, B.J. Prater. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, wild pitch, but the able to knock it down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made it. Now at the plate, Jonathan Baker, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And that's by him. It's 0-1. You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. Now a ball hit in the air to straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number five on the year as they have taken the lead. It's now three to two. 
This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. Jonathan Faker will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Stepping in, Christian Villanueva. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Popped up. Prater has a play. He's got it one away. Digging in now, Boone Devine. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Baker, base runner at first with one out. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Into the box, Ramon Diaz. He flew out in his last at bat. This is flared out towards second. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Steve Chavez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Drilled on the ground to short. Scooped up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and... Now at the plate, Patrick Boyer. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about... He's out of there. ...end the inning with the caught stealing. Another look Get at him, the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more on this Monday night. He's out of there. Stepping up to the plate, Jonathan Baker. He singled his last time up. Baker. First pitch coming, here it is. My wish is your command, Master. On a line, that's a base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. So stepping in, Christian Villanueva. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Chopped weakly to the left. To second for one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more Monday Night Baseball. You might think it's just another win, oh but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. 4-2 to the final score tonight. The Missions took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Miguel Cora earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Scott Hackman hammers down the save his 13th of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans are final line.
Next appearance is with the Tulsa Drillers. Practice field. Uh. Tulsa versus San Antonio. Duncan's team versus the San Antonio Mission. Duncan's for the Tulsa Drillers. So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. Ah, we're doing pretty good. Now batting, Jackson, Jonathan Baker. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he's going to make the play oh. over toward his right, and there are two away now. Robbie Lindsay will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Robbie Lindsay. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end, 6-5 to five, the final. The missions came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Robbie Lindsay gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Scott Hackman closes the door for the save, his 14th. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score, first for the victorious mission. <coughs> Alright, it looks like I got the mount. Oh, at bat. Alright. Fifth inning. Tulsa out in front, 2-1. to one. San Antonio. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here to start things out in the bottom of the inning. Hard ground ball to third. Dias comes up with it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for the mission. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press, they just came out here, played their game and put the losing streak behind him like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Tulsa Driller. Check the breakdown screen for details. Man, we're doing pretty good. We've already got our 24th win of the season. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good.
welcome into this presentation of minor league baseball from the double-a texas league tonight the rubber match of this three-game series between the tulsa drillers and the san antonio missions esteban casto gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series what's your take on him dan Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Now the pitch. Ani takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hey, obviously he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one. Slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Line drive to left. Pro is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visit. Digging in for his second at bat, Jackson. Jonathan Baker. Jonathan Baker. <laughs> From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on to first, and they get them both. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made. Digging in to try it again. Jonathan Baker. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hit down the third baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Manuel looking up. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Oh, boy. Yee-hoo. I'm not happy. A solo shot here crap. to straightaway right field. Sixth <laughs> home run on the season for him as it's now a 3-0 ball game. And I got lucky. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip a solo. Digging in and looking for more, Jonathan Faker. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do... And not in time as he just crosses the plate yeah, in time. Right Everything <laughs> done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side, to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking no your... A lot of things right, you're trying to get through a decision to send. A good send in a close play, but it all worked out. Hit hard up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Now trying to pick things up where we left off, Ramon Diaz. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. As a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is worse than having to battle not only the hitter, but the umpire as well. He didn't get some of the calls there, but there's nothing he can do about that now. Just got to go right after the next guy. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Varela is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And a surprising decision there as he holds on at third base. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Steve Chavez. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. 
Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Barella is there. Let's see if they test it. And they get the double play at third. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Ninth inning coming up. San Antonio's out in front, five to nothing. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A 5-0 finish tonight. The San Antonio Missions jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Esteban Casto earns his first win of the season, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. So that'll put... Oh, so it upgrades by itself. Very nice. A fast developing young <clears throat> player has gotten the attention of the higher ups in management. Jonathan, you really come out of nowhere to emerge as a notable prospect in the organization. People are noticing and talking. I've been working hard. Prospects may not realize and it how close shows. They are being Keep watched. it up. And, and you could go places well in this game. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Springfield Cardinals and the San Antonio Mission. Hank Schneider gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this. But he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while... Now, meanwhile, the throw to second is there, and he is out trying to steal the base. O-U-T! Out! They're showing oh. they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll That's see if a this good throw stealing right there, and he was out at second. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. Way to go, Baker. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Baker. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Baker. First pitch of the at-bat. Hot shot on the ground is short. Carpenter over to his left. Throw on to first in time, one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Baker. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Ryan Jacques. He drew a walk his first time up. He's running. That's a strike to throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. San Antonio won Springfield nothing. Striding in once again, Jonathan no, no, no. Baker. You got two Jonathan. ground outs. That's First pretty nice. First pitch on its way. This is lined to left. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride. Ready for another shot now, Ryan Jacques. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around. 
Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. Hey, if you want to steal third off a catcher that has a good arm like this guy, you have to make sure you get a great jump, and he did just... Digging in once again, Jonathan Baker. Jonathan Baker. From the stretch, lifted into the air out towards center field. Feliz sprinting after it, two down. Won that he one, boy. Choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for the themselves. Four nothing the score tonight. <laughs> the San Antonio Missions led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Hank Schneider wins his third of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Alfonso Vasquez pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Ryan Karnitz works two full innings in relief to record the save, his second. So I'm pretty sure we'll get to the championship the way we're going. So we won that one. We got two with Springfield and the three at Tulsa. Oh wow, in June we have the, oh my gosh guys, we're about to hit another month. San Antonio at Springfield. Oh my gosh guys, I love double A. Don't get me wrong. Oh, okay. And four at Corpus Christi, four at Frisco, another four with Corpus Christi, and then we hit the Midland Rockhounds. And what is this? The Texas All-Stars. Now well, that's pretty good. Most likely we've been doing pretty good for the month of May, so that's pretty good. We are second. So a big spot here. Bases are loaded with two away, and it would appear that we're going to see a pinch hitter come on now. I got a good feeling we're going to win this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam. Seven home runs for him on the year. God darn it, you stupid donkey. The game will win a stupid ball game. Yeah. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing and long distance from the back so far. <laughs> 
Yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Robbie Lindsay comes on from and a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. Eight to six, the final score tonight. The Missions posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Miguel Cora earns win number seven on the season. Darren Girard records the save, his first of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Man, I'm just getting lucky being with the San Antonio Missions. That, uh, that ought to be a... That a home run that ought to be a uh, trying to think a GS Grand Slam that'd be pretty cool guys so the next uh, so if they move me up from San Antonio, they'll have uh, they'll have me in the El Paso Chihuahuas. A manager draws attention to a telling defensive stat. Our league rank is assists is low. That means we're not making good throws or the right ones. Let's improve on it. You know, bottom of the six, and we are good to go. This is our final game of this three-game series with Springfield. So, dang. So, it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter coming on now with a runner at first and one gone. The pinch hitter, number 53, for our San Antonio, Jonathan. Baker. Now Catcher. Jonathan Baker. Hit high and deep to right center. Feliz is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Your Robbie attention. Lindsay is on to pitch from the bullpen. And there we go again, guys. We won the three game series. Pitchers are going to combine Ooh, to finish this I had one. I bad feeling we were not going to win this one. Is the final score in tonight's game? San Antonio put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Robbie Lindsay earns his third win of the year in relief. Darren Girard earns the save we're out of the get up to his the first second. place. So that's that a way. That way, you know, guys, um, when you do play double A baseball. Um, you always got to know that at the end, there's only two left standing. One is literally li eliminated when they get into the playoffs. Winners go home. Or actually, I'm sorry. Switch that around, guys. Losers go home. Winners go off to the championship. It was the same with the Midland Rockhounds. Last year, they want, they're clinched. Their fourth Texas League title facing off the Tulsa Drillers at Tulsa. And they they beat them one nothing. I don't see how that was even possible, guys. I was like, holy cow. What the world? Seven and good grief, guys. We are just getting them on the run. I literally like that San Antonio Missions logo. I don't know why. I just love it. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double-A Texas League. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the San Antonio Missions and the Tulsa Drillers. 
Josh Guzman, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jonathan Baker. Jonathan Baker. He's set and the pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Barella comes on now and he has it one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Baker. He flew out in his last at bat. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Barella moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. Stepping up now, Jonathan Baker. Here comes the first pitch. Hard liner toward short. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. Whoa. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. I'm looking like I'm happy, guys. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change walk. that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Bad choice, coach, on the drillers. Ready once again, Christian Villanueva. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1 and 2 pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom. Of no runs on it. Digging in the switch hitter, Lee Hu. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Ah, oh, I nearly got him. Second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyway. Oh, we won. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. Ryan Karnitz claims the win out of the pen his first. Darren Girard wraps it up for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and... Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the second of three to start the week. Brian Kida, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for courses kind of guy. Loves pitching at home. Take a look at those. Home Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Gone! Gone. Yeah! Oh, crap, damn it. What the hell? It's a two-run no. shot to straight away left. Eighth home run on the season for him. As it's yeah, now that's my boy. He just got us a hit in there.
Oh, Jonathan, you're the best man on San Antonio. Hey, when you hit him blast like that, it shows you this kid might live up to the hype. I know he's only in double-A ball, but with a swing like that, he's got a chance to be a big-time player in the show. Next up will be Kyle Farmer. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Runner goes for second. Misses the throw down. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful he steal could have of been second base. Out, but he got the base. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Faker. He hit a two-run jack in his first at bat. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Oh, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. I'm set with the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit. Digging in, Jonathan Faker. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Pitch out, nothing doing. Sosa on at first, nobody out. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Great vision. The 1-1 one, one home down the third baseline. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. Throw won't get him. Hey, not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats. Three base hits, D Row. Yeah, the pressure. What are you screaming about? Go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. Squawk! Shut up! And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really gonna need to get a ground ball. And as a pitcher, that's and nobody is tough. out. Like he got so a we got a break good on chance some of those calls, this but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way, and Tulsa. you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. How about Stepping into the box, Christian yeah. Bianueva. Third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. The 1-1. One, one. This one's down to third. The second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. A hey, base is loaded. Dang. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play. Two well, out, and I'm the last standing. Does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Riding into the box, Boone no, Devine. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Stepping in, Ramon Diaz. And they're runners at the corners now. Ramon Diaz. Now the 2 0 home. Runners on the move for second. Strike taken to throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Baker at third. Devine at second with two gone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ferella is after it. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. So one run, one hit. Jonathan Baker will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. People are liking here comes me the already. First pitch. 
And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep. Uh oh, is field. it gone? But that'll stay oh, yeah. the as it's off the left field wall. Dang. Boy, oh, talk man. about it having a debut. Gone. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round trip or not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He smiled. His food's going to taste better tonight. Now the 0-2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. One there. On to first, a double play. Yeah, and the home crowd really is loving it. They jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth, and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. And it's a 4-3 finish in this wins. evening's ball game. The Drillers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. <clears throat> Tomas Dorta earns his third win of the year in relief. That's pretty good, guys. Almost had another round the bat. Round the base, I mean, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Think about doing a new series, guys. I know a lot of y'all love the baseball. Are they literally still at the building? I don't know. I got the evaluation check. of minor league prospects is not only the business of team scouts. Sports Jonathan, this is John Kent well. of 989 Sports Management. We're big fans of your potential and we'd like to help you achieve your goals. Perhaps you give me a pitch advisor. From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of Your MLB high school superstars coach has will eventually been advising emerge. you, right? We actually spoke briefly just before you were drafted. Would it be okay if I gave him a call tomorrow? Good idea. I'll talk it over with him. Which prospects we have a lot of resources, most business. importantly, relationships with the front offices of every team when you have a demand or a contract to negotiate we will help you get what you want makes sense and getting in on the ground floor no pressure Jonathan business. tell you what I'll give him my pitch and the two of you could talk it over if you decide you are ready we'll be thrilled to take you on This prospect has become the Jonathan, object of I a spoke notable with sports management company's John attention. Kent of 989 Sports Management. He's made a good pitch, and the fact is, I do think the time is coming when you need more from a representative than I can offer. What do we know about However, this company? 989 Sports be, is a very reputationable firm, and the fact that John can feel reached like out to you step. personally tells us something about what he thinks of you and your potential. But if time seems must right, let's give it a go. For a big world I'll tell awaits. you, I'll tell him you're in. It's been such a pleasure helping bring you along to this point, Jonathan. I just can't wait to see you all you're going to do in this game. So the missions are in second place. We only need three more. And then we're good to go. We're good to 
get ready for the finals. And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. I love the missions, guys. Don't get me wrong. Leading off with a mission. Catherine. Hit hard back up the middle, and that <laughs> finds its way through for a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their Where half is of the this eighth. Place? Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little bit of an ambush. Oh, oh, heater gets turned around. Now batting, Jordan, Steve, Thomas. On the ground to second base, this could be two. To second for one, on to first, and they get the double play. Ryan Karnitz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The San Antonio Missions wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Miguel Cora earns his eighth victory of the season. Darren Girard. Now that's all I get is the walk to second with a base hit. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball Stakes comes your Park. way on the show. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the San Antonio Missions and the Springfield Cardinals. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Statesman Park, that's a good place. Josh Nance will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, hitters have had their way with this guy this year. This is a stat any pitcher doesn't want to have attached to him. The league hitting over 300. That's righties and lefties hitting over 300 against this guy. That's something he's going to drastically have to improve on. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Boy, after scoring a boatload yesterday, d -Row, they're off to a fast start again, striking here in the first inning. Yeah, this offense is on fire. Obviously, the hitting meeting resonated with these guys. Scored a ton yesterday and picked up right where they left off. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gill moves over, and he makes the catch for the second out. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Dero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Well, Matt, going into this, looking at both lineups, they're both hot right now, and they can both swing the bats. We probably got a slugfest on our hands. What pitcher's going to make the big pitch? A big... And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two right. away in the inning. So a three-run blast to straight away left. His first home run of the season as they move on top four to nothing. Yeah, these guys came into this game with a plan. and they. So stepping in, Jonathan Baker. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Armstrong has to roam straight back. In now, Jonathan Baker. And they're runners at the corners now. Baker. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard towards center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. 
Boy, you know, in today's game, d -Row, pitchers are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. On the ground to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. At the plate, Jonathan Baker. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Baker. Picking on the first pitch as this is on the ground towards short. And a wild throw there as he tried for the backhand, but it got right by him. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. Ground ball left side. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Man, I thought this at-bat was over. Down 0-2, he's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2-2, two -two, and he's able to find the knock out there. Into the box now, Boone Devine. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out. Ready for another shot now, Jonathan Baker. He's two for four in the ball game. Jonathan Baker. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Digging in and looking for more, Christian Villanueva. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's no runs on two. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. A 7-0 shutout final score tonight. The San Antonio Missions jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kyle Lloyd earns the win his second, permitting only one hit in six complete innings. I hope this won't be it for the San Antonio missions for me. I really like this team, guys. I want to make more vids with the missions. And we got 29 wins already. That's good. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we wrap up this three-game weekend series between the San Antonio and the Springfield Cardinals. Leandro Aparicio starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do... If he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Well, his first home run of the season is a memorable one. As we take a look at it here. Show off. The pitcher, Leandro Aparicio, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Now a bunt. 
But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in to try it again. Eli Feliz. He flew out in his last at bat. In there now. Is there he's well. out trying to take right. second? They're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll see if this caught stealing slows that down a bit. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. Striding in once again, Jonathan right. Baker. Jonathan Baker. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there, relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Digging in once again, Andreas Murillo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. I think ready I'm once starting again, to love my Jonathan position. Jonathan Baker. No doubt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. No punt intended. Guevara is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready for another chance? Jonathan Baker. Now here it comes. And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. And he can't pick it up. <laughs> it go down as an infield single. You missed the ball, Don't No mistake what he was <laughs> on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Boone oh, Devine. There's one away, the runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Now the one and two pitch, and the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. He comes come right back with another good pitch and gets the punch on. out. Tap down the line. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. Boy, there aren't many times, d that you're going to get an infield single. That's fielded on, by the catcher. Field. Allah, that Win was a warm ball. burner, wasn't it? Yeah, that's crazy right Shut there. Up, that's yo, just grandma. flat out great hustle. Go, Shen Antonio. The right he definitely the ball. cleared himself and gave him that throwing lane to first I base. Like but that guy was picking him up and putting him down. When you get to first base, do you even look into your dugout? Are the guys laughing at you no, for hitting 100%. Short? They're laughing hysterically at you. You know what? You think? And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. At the plate, Sean Daly has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough Ow. into the gap. And a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. Oh, dang. So he moves all the way up to third here. At the plate, Jonathan Faker. Good. It's one for four for the game. First pitch on its way. It got him out. To third. Reined in. Throw on the first gets him, and it's a fast start to the 11th now. Already two away. Springfield won the last. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he doubled down on doubles here. Two of them on the stat sheet, and they were a factor in the outcome of this ball game. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Bernard. Maybe they'll get me to pitch. I don't know.
Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. I know I got to go feed the dogs. But anyway, guys, we hope y'all enjoyed this fun couple hours hanging out and stuff. But anyway, thank you all for coming out and watching. There's July. July 4th, Northwest Arkansas. Arkansas Travelers. Uh, Corpus Christi. Oh, dang. I'm doing pretty good guys I got 37 runs batted in and eight home runs so I'm doing really good I don't know guys I might go for more why not a first conversation with a new representative can be exhilarating to a young player so, Jonathan, I'm so happy you decided to go with us. We think the sky is the limit for you. Now tell me, how are you feeling about the situation with the Padres organization? No complaints. A savvy agent will engender it's my job to help you get what you want, Jonathan. Tell me anything. That isn't ideal. Any time, and we can look at how we might work to change it forward. I just never but saw myself with the Padres is all. How well he can turn these we can get you where you want to go. We'll need to be patient though. We have no leverage right now, but things can happen and we have choices down the road. A manager checks in with his ball club. The organization has sent a specialist to get in some work with us before we start this homestand. He may stick around to see us in live game action, too, so let's be at our best. Good at bat gives 1,200 points. Well, wow. you know, level one and the training. Good, 
Wow. <laughs> Va, that's all I get. Oh my gosh, and they subtract a hundred out of the score. I'm going to stay alive a little bit longer, guys. I guess every game is at 7 o'clock. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I know the dogs are asking to be fed. We'll see you all back in the next gameplay stream of San Antonio Missions Baseball.